Hi guys, today I'm going to walk you through how to send someone to a URL like your website instead of sending them a welcome message when they're signing up to your list, right? So this is in response to a comment on one of my other videos. So say someone's signing up and then they click subscribe and then they go to the web, you know, the um, inbox and then they get the like confirm your subscription and then they're like, oh yeah. And then, you know, you send them an email as a welcome. There is an option during that sign up process to send people directly to a URL. So that could be like to your website to get access to the ebook or to YouTube to watch the video or whatever else you want to send them. You might have a really sexy welcome page on your website that you want to send people to instead of the kind of, you know, um, less amazing MailChimp email, which, you know, they can be amazing, but maybe you've got an incredible thank you page or something amazing on your website that you want to share with them. So I'm going to walk you through the tech of that. Now, this happens by clicking on lists. And I've actually already done this in this account for this client. So say you're going to create a list. Let's do it from scratch, whatever. Create a list, okay? This is what you do. You're creating your list. You're going to give the list a name. It's going to be from like, yeah, that'll do. And it's from me. It doesn't even matter what that says. We'll just remind them you signed up for my cool thing. Here it is. And it's awesome. So are you. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to obviously delete all of this. This is me trying to be fast. Okay. So then you have to create your sign up form. This is where you like have actual control over what people experience when they join the list. So this question was for like, an embedded form over a pop-up form but to be honest they all go through the same process so it doesn't matter let's just go with general forms so say they're going to sign up this is the link then for like the opt-in confirmation or is it the thank you yes it's this one so, confirmation thank you page. I think I went a bit fast then. This is where you type it. You just type the URL here. It's really no biggie. That's just a link to another YouTube video, right? But it could be your, like I said, it could be your welcome page on your website or some other cool resource, right? So, let's have a look if it's actually any different for like a embedded form. An embedded form. I'd say it's the same story, just that. Oh yeah, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. Super slim, blah blah. Yeah, that's all okay. So this is one where you copy this and then you paste it into your website, which is all pretty groovy. Okay, cool. So the same thing happens. The sign up forms that we chose before with general forms, that URL link will affect all of them. Isn't that fantastic? So you just have to choose that, the confirmation thank you, and then you type your URL in there. Thanks, MailChimp, for giving us so much awesome stuff for free. Subscribe a pop up. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah, that's definitely all taken care of in that other process. So there you go. These are all different ways. This is if you want a little pop-up on your website. Pop-up's pretty sweet. There you go. I can't quite remember who the user was that asked that question. But I'm going to tag you. Thank you for asking me questions in the comments. They always give me great ideas for more video content, which as anybody knows who's trying to come up with video ideas, you really can't have too many suggestions unless it's completely out of your field. So hopefully that will help you. Confirmation, thank you, email, pop in your URL. And then of course, like guinea pig yourself through your sign up process. Make sure it's all happening the way you want it to. And people will be magically transported. If you're going to do that, I would actually suggest that, oh, let's screen share again. Oh, me on oh my. If you're going to send people to a URL, I really recommend that you do 
the final welcome email, you have to click this box and then send them a message down in here that says, hey, did you get to the, the resource? Like, especially if you're sending them to a YouTube video, like, oh, did you find the video that you would signed up to get? If not, here's the link and put the link in again. So that way they get it straight away, but they also get it in their inbox as well, just in case some tech thing doesn't work out for them or you know like it opens in the browser but they kind of walk away and feed the dog or something so have a great day thank you for joining me and i'll see you soon bye